be Savir Wheeler for Georgia. Yeah, two in black is dynamic off of any ball screen action. About 65 percent of Georgia's half court offense involves him in the ball screen. Just the old, the old school Texas out of bounds play. Just dive a guy and sneak a guy in behind the action. Very well done by Georgia. Santiago Biscobi buries his first triple. Both of these teams overall, Jimmy, want to play with tempo, but Tom Crean might tap the brakes a little bit tonight. Why would he do that? Well, I, I think he could because Tennessee is at their best right now. If it seems like the SEC is running a lot, would well, you be right? The SEC as a whole is running at the second fastest tempo in all of college basketball among conferences behind only the Mia. Loose ball controlled by Viscovi who comes out of there with it and will push for the balls. And here's another early three. Jake by putting their foot on the gas because they haven't been, Jimmy, a very efficient half-court offensive team over the course of this season. No, they have not. And you know, the entry teams have to change and, and, and evolve as the season goes on. And both these teams here tonight have done it really on both ends of the floor. Georgia especially defensively. There you go. Wilkerson run on the floor. What Rick tells today, forky has got to be forky. That means you have to stay out of contact plays and use your speed like you've done the last three years in that Tennessee uniform. The lefty Wheeler misses going to his right. Vescovi open for three. They better start covering that slot in their transition defense. Because right now, Tennessee is lighting them up where Arkansas was really good last night. They, they took Kentucky's best blow, I think, of the season. They got out of Rooks Wheeler with a one-point win. Miss a couple of misses for Tennessee now. Here's Wheeler stepped on the end line. A quarter rareness. Tennessee leads by five. But with Pons out of the lineup tonight, I think Folky, you, you, you got to unleash him and let him go. And if they're going to play small, which Tennessee likes to do, with four guards around one, that one Folky tonight played only nine minutes. And that win at Rock. Tennessee was down eight in the second half and pulled off the comeback. Other leaders across sports, whether it be Jack Jim and John Harbaugh or on the fake wheeler. Trying to force him right, aren't they? Huh? Yeah. Shot clock at four. Kamara tried to thread. Rick Barnes has gone deep in his bench. Devontae Gaines already on the floor. Victor Bailey, a starter first half of the season, on the floor to come out of that timeout. Another Georgia turnover, back-to-back -back possessions, their fourth turnover of the night. Springer off the mark, first miss from three for UT. Justin Kyer all the way in. After a hot start, this thing has cooled considerably. Wheeler dumps it. Yeah. Walked over, got his fist bump with hugs, and went right back at it. That, that, was, that was tremendous. Content on Josh right here. You, you, you're getting the ball going downhill just a little bit. He's learned to kind of lift himself. Tennessee to push. Here's Viscobi to clean up with an offensive foul before he received the pass. Good job by Johnson to hang in there, man, and take the blow. Boom. Step up. Hit it. Oh, like his heel may have been out of the country. Nearly seven and a half assists a game. Nobody in a power conference has more. He's been a double double machine this season. Yeah. Over five minutes now without a field goal for the dogs. With all the disruptions that coaches are dealing with during a pandemic, I think it is because you, know, you didn't have the non conference. I mentioned Edder getting some run. Nice feed in season. He missed some time with an ankle injury. They were. 14 points a game worse without him on the floor. I mean, he, he's probably the best they have at going by his defender and now making a play for someone else. Learning us that right there below Tennessee on the score, they're 13 and 4, not 13 and 6. So that's really good eyes by Austin. A little bit different without Pons on the floor, one of the best shot blockers in the game. Pump fake. And Johnson wrapped this screen. He's going to wrap it right there, comes off of it, ball fake. Makes the play through traffic, goes strong off of two feet. Makes Georgia's picking its spots when it wants to push the tempo. Here's Edder in the corner. Really to get more playing time over the course of the season by just doing the simple things. His dad was a college basketball player. 
walk on, right? Just beat, help us with the ball game stuff. And if you're going to come in and be asked to play defense on some of the great guards in this league, you're going to have a chance for it. Kamara. The offensive glad. I, I think he's really good at his second jump. Matter of fact, I know he is. Fulkerson double. Out to Keon Jackson for the lead. 34 minutes played per game. And the offense looks different as, as well it should. It's like if you go to it, you think the Buccaneers would look different without your guy Tom Brady? <laughs> oh, man. That's so a problem within the game. And Tom Green has to recognize it. Maybe not so much ball screen action for two and black, but he has to get involved. Offense versus but it gets it stolen away by Anasiki. Tennessee will run. With numbers, change. No, I've never been great with numbers. I just I think right now they could win their first two games and we'll go from there. That's fair. It'll be really interesting to see what happens at the SEC tournament in Nashville as well. Victor Bailey rattles in a three at the shot clock buzzer. Tennessee's opened up a 14-point advantage now. Fulkerson with the deny inside. Escobie gets on the floor along with Springer. You're, you're wrong if you don't get on the floor. Wheeler's had a quiet half. Still hasn't scored. He's 0 for 3 now with three assists. Can't get to his left. Again. They are living right. Wheeler. Tennessee 7 of 13 from 3. Here's Wheeler again. Nowhere to go. That, that, that was a force by Wheeler. Springer. Double clutch. Eight seconds left. Wheeler to push. Here's Kamara poked away. Three on the clock. Loose ball. They come out of there with it. Bailey at the buzzer. Mm -hmm. Saint quite first half for Severe Wheeler. Just two points. Is he really doing a good job taking the paint away? Came in with 134 assists on the season. There he is going left, and he coughed it up, taken away by Springer. Yeah, Tom Green felt like there was some contact on Severe Wheeler coming off that ball screen. Probably had a pretty good argument. Not four games in a row, but they're going to have to get in a, a couple of ball games in that tournament that they've got to shoot the ball like they are tonight. If they do, they can absolutely be dealing with some traffic. Fulkerson looking for the Oh, my goodness, Keon Johnson cocked it and delivered. I don't know that this Tennessee team has looked this much fun all season. They're hitting it from the from deep and they're bringing it back. I just know, oh my goodness, isn't strong enough. Watch Keon John. That is a winning cut. Bam! Man, chin at the rim elevation. Good gracious. You see the explosiveness and the toughness and the, the power forward mentality charge that this kid has in his game. That, that was powerful. Oh, my goodness, may not be strong enough, but it's as strong as I can go on a family <laughs> broadcast, Jimmy. <Jay. laughs> Even though it's thinking different. Wow. That's a lit cheeseburger. Back in September, October, there'll be a lot of games with only two officials, and we'll lose one during the game and finish with one. Has not happened. Yeah, not nearly at the rate that we thought. And these guys, now, first of all, the best officials that we have in this league, TV timeout, because we're going to watch that dunk again. We're going to show it every TV timeout. Can so we just two around? box it and show it on a loop? <laughs> uh, favorite parts, by the way, of Tom Sokoviak's game notes every game is uh, what he does digging in the historical archives. Springer trying to get in on the fun. Some teams, Jimmy, didn't find their identity until the calendar turned to February, and now as Tennessee tries to turn up the gas and play more tempo. The question that everyone's going to be asking Rick Barnes afterwards is, what's wrong with Eve Ponds? Is this something that's just a, a soreness that you're making sure he's full speed? Is it something more severe? Than now he's had to turn up the tempo a little bit. Well, he was he was very real with us. Tom was that talking about back and he, he, Wheeler gets a lot of palm 
on that basketball as a shooter. Well, first of all, but well, I'll tell you what they have also have in common. Those are older, experienced teams that have been together and really been through some wars, some highs, some lows. I, I, I trust all three of those teams we just had up there. That's a, well, that's a big thing in March. It had an incredible dunk on the baseline against Kentucky. This is very similar to that. Yeah, better with the board. Springer jumped on the left, forced a turnover. Back pocket, now expecting to spring it here for a couple possessions. Xavier Wheeler, pardon me, Katie Johnson got his hands in there for the takeaway. Lost his footing on the way up, tried to muscle his way in. Johnson. <laughs> Johnson tracks it down. Here's Fulkerson. Shot clock at nine. Back to Johnson. Step. And Arizona State. Get ready for some uh, Thursday Big 12 action. They've really loaded up that part of the day to do against Tennessee. They're usually pretty good about getting their body on your body. They go attack it. That's a really good play. The kick out. We can go to his left. He made the right read, didn't try to make a play at the rim that he shouldn't have made. Got to knock down the open shots. Good double down, really, for the entire season so far. A couple of bad offensive performances that for Georgia. Here's the biggest rarity as you take another look. It's, it's, it's almost an unguardable Tennessee be with the basketball over the last three minutes. On, on a scale of 1 to 10, it's been about a 9. They literally just had the ball. Tied his career high with 23, back-to-back 23-point -back game. Typically, Tom Crean right now would get Severe Wheeler going to his left, making a play. Nine-point game. Chance for Tennessee to push. Johnson oh. ran into a wall. Something indeed. <laughs> I don't know what it was, but something happened. Wheeler penetrates. In a yeah. After his playing days are over, he aspires to be an NBA GM one day. Trying to lead Georgia to a come from behind win. Nine point game now, and Wheeler picks up the foul on the open floor. That is his fourth. I, I, I guess, I, I guess Wheeler fouling looks like they're both just equal pressure. And Springer, the freshman. Back to back big game by Springer. 23 at Rupp, now 24 tonight. Wheeler trying to reverse. If you're Viscovi right now, get your butt to that defender and create distance to not allow another live ball turnover if you're Tennessee. They got one. Yeah. Just not strong enough with it. Three and two. Johnson takes it. Pinned by James. And Josiah James comes down with it. Viscovi. Oh, wide open to Springer. Of missed opportunities by Georgia in transition, and that was that was toenail close to be trying to see keep taking this clock down. Fulkerson trying to keep it alive, he does it ends up in the hands of Johnson. Pass out with the clock winding down. Smart plays from John Fulkerson back to back. Yeah, maybe the best play he's made tonight, Folky keeping that ball alive. It was halfway home and fell out. That would have, that, that would have ended it. J.D. Johnson. Keep... Pressure again. Springer brings it down. I cannot tell you the risk and value of that pass. It could have been a 25, 30-point game. We look up at halftime, and, and Tom Green's guy just said, no, that, that's not who we are. We're going to hang to dig deeper and realize... Unless it's under four to go, the scoby's automatic. Johnson will take it all the way, and he's found.